If you've been watching my videos, I am almost done with working outside on the exterior stairs and the failed deck and I the dry rot deck repairs. And I told you, hey, after that, I've still got other things to do. And this is mother's room here. And one of the projects I've got to do is check this out. Look at this. This house is only 17 years old. No ceiling fan location, no light fixture location up there. Generally, there's usually something up there with a blank plate over it or something. And, and you'll have a light switch over here. And usually it'll be for a light fixture or it's set up for a ceiling fan and they just haven't put the ceiling fan in. And so I, I'm, lo I'm looking at all my notes and you can't really see them, but I've got a whole list here of different things that I'm going to be doing inside the house. More things, I've already done quite a few and I've showed those on video, but the upcoming projects that I'm gonna have is I've gotta install a ceiling fan and lucky for me, I can get up inside the attic. I've got an attic crawl space right here in the laundry room and I'm gonna have to climb up there and how am I, how am I gonna do that well I've got to take this light switch out and I'll show you how to do that cut it I I take out the light switch cut out put a two gang light switch in there put this switch back in there and I'll probably relocate that over here and I'll have the switch closest to the door uh, for the new ceiling fan and so once I cut that out then I'll be able to fish a wire from there up the wall drill a hole up in there and I'll use a flexi bit I'm gonna have to get that out of the store a long flexi bit because there's probably fire blocks in here because the the uh, the walls like the ceiling is like 10 feet tall and usually you you have a fire block in here somewhere and I'm not sure why they have this light switch so close to the to the door. Usually they've got a nice gap. Usually it's about from here over. And but they didn't. And so I'll have two switches here. One's one paddle switch. The first paddle switch will be for the ceiling fan. Second paddle switch will be for these lights over here. Because I hit the switch, boom. Those go off. Okay. Now if I can't drill a hole up this way, um, I'll have to come from the top down and I'll have to drill a hole up there, measure over and stuff. And my whole, my whole thought process on this is I don't want to cut any, any holes in the walls or anything like that. And then I'll come up in here and I'll install a box. And I'll show you how to do all that and put the ceiling fan up there and all that. Okay, so that's one of the projects I'm going to be doing. And if the ceiling fan, if it's a really nice ceiling fan, and if we want to put one inside our, our bedroom, I could take this ceiling fan. This is ceiling fan in the, in the bedroom here. I could take that one and relocate it into mother's room. And I call it mother's room because my mom comes here every once in a while. And we just call it mother's room. <laughs> I could take that ceiling fan down and put that one over there if I wanted. Okay. Another, another project eventually is in the office, in the study here, I'm going to put another ceiling fan. I'll put a ceiling fan up here and, oh, good Lord. I'll have to probably put a four gang cut in box in here. I think, I'm pretty sure they carry them. If they don't, I, 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 I would uh, leave the two um, paddle switches and I would take this switch out and do two sideways and they're little half switches and one switch is for one thing, one switch is for something else. I could do something like that, but I think I can buy, I think I can locate a four gang cut in box, do the same thing, uh, fish the wire up there and put a ceiling fan box in there. Okay, what else, what else is on my list? The other thing, another thing is I'm going to replace all of these smoke alarms. They're old. They should be replaced. I think it's every 10 years. They're only good for the manufacturer. Uh, I think they're, 
they say they're only good for 10 years, even if they're still working, you should replace the entire thing, not just the batteries, but the entire thing. And I've got some nice new ones that I'm gonna put up, and I, I put the same type up at my mother's room, my mother's house, and if you saw that video, I'm gonna do the same thing here. It's, it's a smoke detector that uh, has lithium battery in there, and it's designed to never have to be replaced for 10 years. It'll last 10 years. You don't have to, you don't have to get those alkaline batteries every year in the middle of the night, poke someone, hey, go over there and, and get up there and get the ladder out and take the battery out, it's chirping. None of that kind of business. And that's coming up too. I'll have to look at my list. What else is on my list? Something else I have to do, fix door threshold flashing. What's that all about? It's not that big of a deal, but you see they, they had this black stuff and this black stuff rolls up and goes down underneath the concrete pavers. And they, roll, they rolled that up and it just happened to get loose. Look at that. So I think I think I could just lift that up there and maybe put some sheetrock screws in it and put some black uh, caulking on it and stuff. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay. Check that one. Got that one on my list. What else we got? Oh, here's something else too. See this door here? This is these are this is the front door. I really love these doors, by the way. And most of the time, the doors, these panels, would be tongue and groove. Look at this. You see right outside. See that? You see the crack there? I can see daylight right through there. Right through there. And there's a, there's a few other areas I can see daylight through there. And so I'm going to have to fix that. And I'm not sure why on earth they would build a door without any grooves, like a tongue and groove or lap or something. It's just, it's just never done. Okay, so I'll take some putty stick and put in there. That'll be a nice little project. That's going to take me a while. And just with a small little screwdriver, put a little putty, push it in, push it in, push it in, and, and get it off. I'll have to put masking tape or something on both sides so I don't get it all over. When I get done with that, you won't even know it. Okay? Let's go on downstairs. I've got to show you something down there. Down at the bottom of the stairs, and this little room is just underneath the, the stairs. And doo -doo 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 -doo. this is her meditating area. And in the summer, she gets a little hot in here. There's no air conditioner register up in here. And she doesn't want to leave the door open. She wants that closed. And I haven't put a uh, dimmer switch on here in case she wants this on. I, I made a video of that too. That's on my channel on what type of bulb that I ended up using because I had to test out quite a few because I wanted to save money and it's an energy efficient bulb. Here's your on and off switch here and then your paddle. There's different dimmers that you can put put on and um, I did that for her but now she now she wants she wants air in here and I thought I thought I'll just plug in a small little um, oscillating fan but there's no electrical outlet here there's nowhere down in here so that's on my list to add to add a an electrical outlet and we finally made the determination that that we'll put the outlet about right over in here and then we'll just have this small little fan right there and it can just live right there and then when she needs it on she can turn it on when she needs it off she can just leave it off and on the other side of the wall, see there's an electrical outlet right there. So I'm going to tap into that and um, I'm going to put an electrical outlet on the back side. And 
I'll show you how to do that. And initially, I didn't realize that plug was there. I saw another plug here. I thought, I thought, hey, I could use that one, go back to back with that, and put it over here. But then the the fan will be in the way all the time. And then you have to unplug it and store the fan somewhere else. So um, we decided, hey, let's just stick it over there in the corner and be done with it. Okay. What else is on the list?